In part one of this uh, series on the Delta Triple Duty Grinder Restoration, we did the motor work and disassembly and motor repair. Uh, here we're working on painting and reassembly. So I started with primer and now I'm using uh, uh, the enamel top coat on the motor, I've taped off the end bells. On the uh, base, I painted everything gray first. Um, and then I taped off the sections that uh, I did not want to change color and um, uh, painted black on the areas that I wanted to be black to create this two-tone gray and black scheme. Very happy with how this came out uh, with the two-tone on this base. Uh, there's the, the piping or the, um, the beads that uh, were in the casting that uh, really sort of art deco style, really cool looking. And um, uh, by doing it this way, you can draw attention to that feature and uh, get both colors. So um, just it's all about the, the tape here, taping everything off properly and thinking through uh, how to do it. So I did again, I did gray everywhere first and then taped off the portions I wanted to remain gray and did black over that. And then here you can see when the tape comes off how that uh, nice contrast really comes, comes through. Um, good uh, vivid contrast and fitting color schemes for Art Deco styling. So the paint on the base and the motor and all the parts has come together. Uh, in the meantime, I'm working on wire brushing a lot of the uh, hardware and fasteners. You can see here what it looks like. All right, this grinder's coming along good, this Delta Triple Duty Grinder. We've got all these uh, parts wire brushed and cleaned and painted. You can see they're coming along pretty good. And then the motor, I put the uh, capacitor, a new capacitor in, uh, did some test runs, it ran well. And so I got that all painted, I'll clean up the shafts and the ends next. And then the pedestal, a little accent on those uh, nice little beads that were running down the casting. That uh, Art Deco sort of comes to life. So it's coming along well, almost there. And so now we're just simply attaching the grinder to the base. Really, it's it's a bench grinder with a with a base, and it's just four bolts to attach. Just uh, tighten those all down, and we'll be all set on that part. All right, the grinder's coming along, just about done. So now I'm going to try to uh, reassemble everything. I've got everything all set out here, and I was able to purchase uh, some of the fasteners and things from McMaster Car. Thankfully, all the fasteners are. Uh, pretty standard um, uh, things that are available and then on eBay um, uh, there's a seller who sells a lot of parts for Delta machinery uh, so I got some spark arresters and some uh, light bulbs as well so we'll work on reassembling everything and uh, this thing will be good to go with reassembly, the key really is to make sure you're doing this in the right order, just like with any reassembly. Uh, but especially here, it uh, may be a little counterintuitive at a few points. So uh, make sure you uh, refer to the diagram manuals. Uh, there's several manuals available at uh, midgetmachinery.com or .org and several other locations online if you need. Um, there's uh, several flanges and different parts that need to go on in the right order. Um, so once the, uh, the flange is on, uh, the interior flange, then you put the grinding wheels on, and then exterior flange and the uh, nuts. And a unisaw nut and arbor will work for these. Uh, on one side, the nut will work. Uh, one side is reverse threaded and one side is normal thread. Uh, so you need a, a, a sort of two different nuts, uh, and that's just so that the, uh, the nuts don't spin off when uh, the machine is running. And then these are the spark arresters. Uh, you can uh, purchase these on, on eBay if a person uh, fabricates new ones, if, uh, if so needed. And then also um, putting on here the, uh, the covers, uh, the wheel covers on the outside. I did these black to accent with the uh, rest of the gray. And so uh, everything's back together and we'll give it a test run. Okay, so the triple duty Delta Grinder is done. That was a really fun project one with a two-tone gray and black and I uh, love this uh, Art Deco style pedestal. Tried to bring attention to the um, little beads that they had running down and uh, accent that with the black and the gray and then on the sides with the black. And then the motor, same thing. Really pleased with it. Uh, new bearings in the motor, cleaned the motor. Um, Bought some, some parts that were missing from eBay and from McMaster Car, and here she is.
lots of fun, great project, and looking forward to finally having a grinder. Um, the only thing I've got less to put on are the uh, tool rests, but everything is uh, all done. Lots of fun. So here's where we started with a pile of parts, a motor that didn't run, and we cleaned everything up, repainted, fixed the motor, new capacitor, new bearings, rewired, and then it put everything back together and have a great grinder that's ready to go for another life. These triple duty grinders are classic, excellent styling, elegant, and robust machinery. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope the video has been helpful for you. Feel free to subscribe using the subscribe link. And if you've benefited from the channel and enjoy what you see here, consider donating by using the PayPal link that's on my banner picture on my YouTube channel homepage. I put out a video per week. Hope they're helpful. Anything else I can do, contact me. Thanks a lot.